Hey everybody, this is me, Chris. So, I want to re-upload this video again. Uh, I think it's very important, especially this year, that we need to focus on Jesus. Sister of mine, uh, she did a prophetic word about a um, the Bride of Christ going through a narrow path. And uh, I'm going to leave a link down below of her video. Also, um, this is what the video looks like, so when you know which one you're clicking on, and uh, listen to it. It's 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 good. You need to. You, uh, she is a woman of God, uh, but anyway, um, I feel like I feel that I need to re-upload this video. Uh, I edited it, some of it out, and the Lord showed me what the wide path and. I didn't, I, I didn't paint the wide path, but I did paint the narrow path in a spiritual realm, and it's a real place in a spiritual realm. So the Holy Spirit had told me to do this painting. He provided a way to do it, and I did it, and I hope it blesses you. It blesses me every time that I need encouragement, that th what is my goal is to go through the narrow path. And um, so watch the rest of the video. I hope you're blessed by the painting that I did, that the Holy Spirit uh, told me to do, that He showed, that the Lord showed me what the narrow path is, and uh, check out my sister, Miss um, Warner. Uh, check her out. I leave a description in the bottom of her video about the prophetic uh, word from God this year, 2020. I love you. Enjoy the video. Shalom.
So let me describe how God showed it to me. I came in from this way and I was facing this way and I looked to my right and it was a wide field, uh, it was a massive road and, and it faded off into the desert and there's millions and millions and millions of footsteps fading off into the desert. Then I looked to my left of me and this is exactly what I saw. I saw this village over here and um, I knew great mighty men and women of God lived here at one time um, but no no one no longer um, lives in there um, and then I saw this beautiful white arch right here and I said, wow, it's a beautiful white arch. And then, all of a sudden, the white arch started collapsing. Like, like the pieces of the white arch was collapsing, and it was about to crumble. Now, uh, let me go back. This is not a sky back here. It's one solid piece of rock. You can't go over it. You can't go around it. There's no way to enter in this place except through this white arch. And all of a sudden, I heard this loud voice. It sounded like trumpets and, and rushing water. And it, when he spoke, it shook me. And he says, enter in before it's too late. Man, I was running towards this uh, extremely fast. Now here over here was a wheat field behind this wall. And this is, I saw a clear bowl of water and I saw a glass, uh, a statue of a fire that was glass but there was fire with inside of it. And then I saw two pillars and then another two pillars with two lines on it. I'm not going to spoil it for you, um, but I'm gonna take a picture of it and uh, I have a challenge for you because this is a real place in the spiritual realm. It is a real place. Jesus didn't just speak it uh, wide is the path to destruction and narrow is the path to righteousness. It's a real physical place in the spiritual realm. And few who find it, this is it. God revealed this to me. So this is a real place in the spiritual realm. Now those that f truly follow Abba, Yahweh, and know Yeshua as your personal relationship. I challenge you to ask the Holy Spirit because the Bible says that we must pray in spirit and in truth. Ask the Holy Spirit of which lion is Yeshua and which lion is Lucifer. Okay, and then ask the Holy Spirit what the white arch is. Now that's a giveaway. Everybody should know what the white arch is. Another thing that it was revealed to me about this, that the people that used to live in this village was before Christ. Also, that what was revealed to me it was the water because I asked what was the the bowl of water and what was the the glass statue of the fire with fire in it you must be baptized by water and by fire two separate things two separate things so I challenge you if you truly walk with God 
and you hear his voice, ask the Holy Spirit, ask his spirit, which lion is Yahshua and which lion is Lucifer? Anyway, I love you. God bless.